Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can set up event tracking, Google Analytics event tracking in, in your .NET Nook website. Now, I'm assuming that you are uh, knowledgeable about uh, Google Analytics and you do have a Google Analytics account set up and your site is, has also Google Analytics set up on it. Now, I do have another video that does show how to set up Google Analytics. This is not the video on how to set up Google Analytics. This assumes that you have Google Analytics set up in your site and you want to be able to track events in your site as well. Now, what type of, what I'm, what am I talking about in terms of events here? Now, I do have a, a Google account here open, Google Analytics account. And by events, I mean the options when you come to content and to event tracking. Now, event tracking here has nothing, has no data because I did not set up events for this particular website. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show how you can do that on your .NET Took website. Now, again, the first thing is that your .NET Took website will have to have Google Analytics already set up. So, assuming that it's already set up, I'm going to log into the back end of the site and I'm going to log in as super user or admin. Admin will do that, will, will work as well. Now, what I want to track is, I'm actually going to delete this for now. I want to be able to track, for instance, how many people have downloaded a file from my, from my website, which cannot be tracked very easily if you are just using a Google Analytics out of the box without even tracking. Or if you are, if you have links in your site that you are directing people to other websites, then if you want to track how many people have clicked in this, in this link as well, then this is also another use of event tracking from Google Analytics. But how can you go about setting this up? Let me give the first example. Let's say that we want to track how many people have downloaded a certain document that is uh, available on your website, on your .dot website. So first thing is, let's make the document available. Let's add an HTML text mod to this page. I'm going to in edit mode for the HTML module, and I'm going to add a document uh, to this to this uh, to this page. So let, I'm going to click on document manager. And I'm just going to upload one file. And here is my file. And I have named it accounting.pdf. I'm going to open this and I'm going to upload. So the document is there and I'm going to click on insert. So uh, a link was added to this page and this link will point to that document. Let me open, let me just remove this content counting document and here's the accounting document I'm gonna save this so now we just have a regular link to a file as you can see in the status bar it's a regular link to one file uh, that I can uh, open just by clicking on it but but just by doing so you are not tracking how many people are downloading this file. You, you don't have that control. Even if you have Google Analytics in this page, but Google Analytics will not tell you that out of the box. You have to use event tracking to do that. Now, let's go back to the editor. And we're going to have to do a something that will uh, look a little bit unfamiliar to most of you. But if you are a bit familiarized with uh, HTML, just a little bit, that will help quite a lot. We do have to flip this uh, editor to basic text box and here is the tag that links to the documents the a tag the link tag so what we have to do here is we're gonna have to create an event and this is called on click and this is we have to put equal to and double quotes open and close and we're gonna have to put an event inside of it and 
This is a little bit of coding called JavaScript coding. If you're not familiarized with that, but I'm going to explain this. It's not that difficult. This is the piece of code that you have to put on the on click. And this code is basically uh, helping you to track the category of this event, the action of this event, and the label of this event. Now, if you, if you have a look at the event tracking in Google, it does have categories, actions, and labels. But this information will only start coming up if you do have event tracking set up on your site for certain links for certain actions. Now, what is category? Category, in our case, I'm going to call it files. I'm going to call it either files or file because this is a download, a download of a file. Under action, I'm going to call this action as download. And under label, I'm going to call this accounting file. So now we do have, again, you need to have Google Analytics set up in your site up front. But, but with this event, on click equals to page tracker. Uh, and then category files will end up under category. Action called download will end up inside actions in Google Analytics, and accounting file will end up classified as label in, under the labels tag, under the labels uh, menu in Google Analytics. Now, once I save this, what will happen is that each and every time that someone clicks on this link, an event will be triggered and this information will be sent over to Google. So in 24 hours time frame, just about 24 hours time frame, you're going to be able to see data coming to this report if people are downloading this, this file. Okay. So that's the way you can track events. Now let me give another example, less example about events that you can track. Let's say that we are linking to a, a video on YouTube and we want to track how many people are clicking that link. Very simple. We just go back there to edit content. We're going to flip this to te rich text editor. I'm going to give one space here and I'm going to say YouTube video. So I'm just going to say, see this video and I'm going to make this a link. See this accounting video and I'm going to make this a link to a YouTube video. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to make this as a link by clicking the hyperlink manager. I'm going to make this point to this URL, which is uh, in YouTube. I'm going to click OK. Now I have to flip it back to basic text box. I'm going to create another event here as well. I'm going to say it on click equals to double quotes, open and close. And now I have another event that I'm going to trigger from here. This time, I'm going to say that this is category videos. The event will, the action will be click and the label will be accounting video. So each one of those pieces of information will match to one of those menus here from Google Analytics. We have categories. The category is videos. We have actions. The actions will be click and we have label. The label will be accounting video. I just have to save this and now each time that I click on see this accounting video this uh, action will be registered in Google Analytics as well and I will be able to see the reports on those on those clicks as well so this is basically the way you're gonna go about setting up event tracking even tracking in general uh, even tracking from Google Analytics in your .NET Nook website thank you very much and bye for now